I'm Callie Lewis. This is Geek Brief TV, Brief 462. I've been hearing about how amazing Boxy is on Apple TV for weeks and weeks. We wanted to give it a try, but we didn't unpack our Apple TVs after our last move. Trying it meant that I'd have to find where I put it. That was enough to inspire procrastination, and then yesterday on Gizmodo, John Mahoney published a step-by-step -step guide called How to Max Out Apple TV's Potential with Boxy. My desire to get her done overcame my other desire to put it off, and now, here we go. I've made sure my Apple TV software is up to date. You need at least version 2.0. I downloaded ATV USB Creator and used it to prepare a USB drive to become a boxification apparatus. To do that, choose ATV Patch Stick, Apple TV version 2.1, and Boxy for Mac. John Mahoney recommends only having one USB device plugged into your Mac when you run ATV USB Creator because the USB target device won't be named like it is when it's mounted on your desktop. ATV USB Creator is going to wipe the drive, so you want to make sure you're dealing with the drive you want to use. After you click Create Using, Creator creates. The boxification process begins after you unplug Apple TV, plug in your USB drive, and then re-plug in your Apple TV. After the code runs, disconnect the USB drive and restart. John suggests checking for the latest version of Boxy, so I'm going to do what he says. You'll find Update as an option under Boxy in the menu. After you're all updated, you'll want to configure Boxy, add your Boxy.tv account information, and calibrate the display if it doesn't display like you want it to. Boxification means Apple TV now will stream all kinds of media from shared folders on your network, or you can move media files onto Apple TV. It'll also play video from Hulu, which I love. I have shared media stored in three places. We have a dedicated media sharing drive on the Mac Pro. We have a Drobo dedicated to media storage. And over the past week, I've been setting up the HP Media Smart Server to store music, photos, and Windows media files. Fast forward a couple of hours, we've been playing with Boxy. It isn't perfect, but it's alpha. It dramatically improves the usefulness of Apple TV, and the Boxy team is working hard to make it a tool that everyone wants to use with or without an Apple TV. I have an invitation link in the show notes for Brief 462 at www.geekbrief.tv. There's also a link to John Mahoney's article on Gizmodo. This was an overview. There is much more detail in his piece, so if you're going to give it a go, follow John's step-by-step -step instructions. That's it for now. Thanks to the HP Media Smart Server for sponsoring this episode. The Media Smart Server has its own fan site at mediasmartserver.net. It has stories, tips, photos, and all the ways Media Smart Server owners are using their servers to improve their digital lives. Now someone can add using it to stream media to Apple TV to the list. I'm Kelly Lewis. Thanks for watching. Whoa, is that the effect you were talking about?